Hey, what's going on, folks? So, listen, I got a problem here. I got, uh, I bought a 2015, which I understand, going on six years old, um, uh, 2015 uh, Chevy Silverado. And I bought this from a dealership around my area, a Ford dealership. So it was like a certified, pre-owned, um, but nevertheless, it only had 93,000 miles on it when I got it. And I paid a good amount of money. I paid, uh, I think it was like 25,000. And then after the extended warranties and everything, uh, the gap insurance, all that, yeah, the total loan amount was like 31,000 for this truck. So I get it. And um, I start realizing it's, it's, it feels like it's slipping, right? And uh, so when I go from, um, like when it goes from like second to third gear, it'll like act weird. So I brought it into the Ford and they told me to bring it to the Chevy dealer and they said they'd flip the bill, which they did. Uh, the Chevy had my vehicle for one night. They said it was a torque converter. So they replaced it. And I got my truck back and I feel like it's doing the same thing. Watch. Wow, let me see here. It's kind of tough. Let me, let me turn off my fan. Okay, ready? See, now we're coming up on a hill up here. This is gonna be a better time for me to, to test it. So just keep your eyes on the RPM. I'll tell you when. It's really weird. It's got like a, it just, it just doesn't, okay. So here we go. So we are going up the hill. Here we are. It goes in, and then it slows. That's not really a good example. Um, I'd have to be to a complete stop. Um, hopefully when we come to a complete stop here, I can, uh, I can show you, hopefully in better terms. Um, this is annoying. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what to do. Uh, so anyway, so I brought it to them. They, they replaced the, um, the um, torque converter and then it still acted this is still acted weird right it was slipping and it would it, and the gears when they were going like when it when it go to a different gear it would like the rpms would go up high and then go all the way down it was really weird and um and so i brought it back in and now now the chevy dealer is telling me that's just how it is that that's just how the vehicle is so i'm worried because i guess it was covered under the original powertrain warranty and I believe that's gonna run up at 100,000 miles. So it's really just like crazy. But what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna try this next to show you guys here. I'm gonna come up to this stop sign, stop. And then when we go to take off again, that's, that's I believe when you're gonna really see it. So it's weird. It, it, sometimes it's even hard on video. You almost have to feel it in the pedal. Uh, but it's like, have you ever had it slip? Like when, when you have a stick shift and you put it in, in gear and then you let the clutch out and it's, it's not grabbing, right? That's the way it feels. Let's see if I can get it to do it. I'm gonna come up to a stop now, let's see. Okay, I'm at a stop. Okay, now I'll be very quiet. Watch the RPMs. Then it goes in and it's trying to get up there. It's weird. There we go. Alright. Well, that's it. That's all I can show you. But I'm hoping um, to get down to the bottom of this. This is really annoying. If anybody knows anything about this, please leave it in the comments below. Um, this is just really nuts. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do and I feel like I got a little bit of time to figure it out. So, um, yeah, anybody has any slipping in their, um, their Chevy, um, Silverado going from like second to third where it feels like it's not, not like catching the RPMs are going up. Um, let me know, please. Thank you.